right, my friends, it's Krebs here, and we're playing some Space Engineers. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a game mode that I developed, and it's something for you guys to be, uh, to feel free to play. It's going to be on the Steam Workshop, and it comes around because, you know, multiplayer is out, we know that, and a lot of people are building ships together and whatnot, but maybe sometimes people need more to that. They want some game modes, and, well, here we go. Here is one that I've created for you guys. Spent a lot of time doing it, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. So, what is it? It is Space British Bulldog. Um, you might have come... It might have come under some other names that you might know, like just Bulldog in itself, Cockarooster or something like that. There's some other different ones, but the one that I remember fondly when I was a kid was British Bulldog. And if you know the rules, then you know the rules, and you can probably imagine what it's going to be like. But if you don't know the rules, well, I'm just going to explain it to you guys. So, you've got two teams. One is the Bulldog uh, team, and they start off in the middle, and one is the Free team, and these people are not it, whilst the one who is in the middle is it. That red guy over there, right? So the Free team, they're going to spawn out in these fighters over here, and you'll be able to just copy and paste them as you so freely choose to. I just put one on the side over there just in case you run out of your ones and you need to copy and paste them. They have no guns, so and the reason why they have no guns is so you can't shoot at the turret over there, alright? Whereas the turret can freely shoot back at you. And the point of this game is that the Free people want to gets to the other side, the safe zone. So you see where it's marked with blue? That is the safe zone. Whereas the Bulldogs, what they want to do is try to shoot you down as you try to cross to the other side. Now, when you become shot down, you become it as well uh, with the Bulldog. And so what happens throughout the course of the game is that you get less and less free people and more and more bulldogs. So essentially as the game progresses on, it becomes harder for the free people to get to the other side untouched and not become it. And so what happens when you get shot down? Well, you grab one of these turrets over here, these sort of mobile things, and you're going to situate yourself along the line and get ready to start firing at the uh, free people as they come on by. Now, how do you start a game? Well, you start a game by having a referee. And you might be able to tweak this around. Maybe you can get somebody in the turret over there to have a reactor or something attached. I don't know. So they could just activate this. But what you do is you go into the reactor over here. Let's go inside the panel. Sorry, I think I need to get a little bit closer. Oop. Why can't I activate this thing? Here we go. And what I've set up is a variety of lights. As you can see, there are green and red lights. What you want to do is turn off the red ones when the match is going to begin, and you turn on the green ones here. See? So when the green comes on, that means match begin, and the free people need to try to get over to the other side. And likewise, when the match is over, you just switch it on back to red so that the uh, teams know that the round is up, and it's moving on to the next round. So, whoever's it is going to be situated in this turret over here. Alright, it's locked into place. Try not to meddle around with these uh, supports, or else you might screw yourself over. If you knock out one of them, you should be fine, but please, try not to aim for the supports where possible. So, the person who's the bulldog is going to be in this turret, alright? And it's a big turret. You have the choice between missiles, Gatling guns, but it's really up to you how you want to play. I find that missiles is better, uh, best because you have to try and aim more, whereas Gatling guns is more spray and pray, and you'll be able to easily knock out those little fighter aircraft. Now, if you want to be a bit different uh, with your fighter aircraft, you could always use a bigger ship like that one that I'm looking down at. Yeah. And the free people could try to use that big ship to get across the other side. And you, you'd you effectively knock out someone and they would become a bulldog when they're out of their cockpit. Now that cockpit in that big ship over there is situated in the heart of that thing. So it would take a number of shots to actually knock it out. And by that time they might be able to get to the other side. In which case they're in the safe zone and you shouldn't fire at them anymore. 
So this turret is fully uh, fully rotatable. I'll actually go back in and show you guys. It's fully rotatable, so you can go all 360, as you can see. And it also goes up and down. I've set limits to it so that you should feel a snag when you're approaching those limits. And that just prevents the turret from uh, destroying itself because if it was going at extreme angles then it might start hitting other pieces of it and start breaking itself. So as you can see we did a full 360 and took no damage because this thing was built properly. All right and it stays in place because of these supports. So as I was saying, try to keep these supports in place, don't meddle around with them. And same with the black supports on the side. They're hooked up to the asteroids over there and over there as well. And try not to destroy those because if you destroy them, then the entire arena is going to start flipping out. <laughs> and and you wouldn't want that at all, okay? So, yeah, that that is pretty much space bulldog for you guys. Uh, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I know there's only four person servers at the moment, but hopefully as time goes on, they'll expand those servers and you'll be able to get more people in. Um, but yeah, the end premise, try to become the last person standing. All right. Try to be the last person standing. Don't get killed. Don't get eliminated. <laughs> As I said, this is going to be in the Steam Workshop, and it's going to be linked in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and until the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you guys later.